All right. Uh, welcome back. I am on a roll. I am just like churning out episodes right now. So we are back in the Good Dad Saga. We are going to go on our first date with Craig. Uh, and I'm really excited to go and chill with my bro and to talk like a bro for like a whole probably 20 minutes. So let's uh, get into that. Craig, my man. Craig Khan. And this Oh, I thought I could rate him. That just means I've gone on dates. Okay, so they must fill in. Uh, again, you can go look up his profile if you want um, online, because I'm not going to read through it, although I'm sure it's hilarious. Um, he does want to scale a huge dangerous mountain for fun. And it's not my idea of fun, but that's not going to stop us from falling in love, okay? I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's dad book page and I type out a message. Hey bro, or should I say neighbor? <laughs> Let's catch up like old times. A couple moments pass before I hear a ding on the computer because nobody has a life in this cul-de-sac. We all just sit on dad book waiting for somebody to message us. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, my man. Let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different for our old weekend long benders, but it'll still be fun. I think for a moment. Hey, this could be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. We exchange a couple more messages and he logs off to prep for the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. Why would I do that? Okay. I walk over to Amanda's room and I knock on the door. I don't think I understand what a date is. Yo, Amanda Panda! I open the door and I find... Amanda sitting- okay, she's not crying, we're okay. I find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor surrounded by magazines and newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece. Hey, what ah. you working on? Just a collage for class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I'll take a closer look at her collage. That's a lot of dogs. Hmm. It's mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? Ah, Craig invited us to a softball game. You wanna oh. go? Oh, remember that one time you signed me up for softball and you bought me all the gear and then you took me to the first game and then someone hit a ball towards me and I just ran off of the field crying? And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up. Yeah. Uh. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic, sentient softball. So, does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye. Uh. I'm finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this. Amanda, you're a good wingman, woman, kid, teenager. Amanda and I make the short drive out to the local softball field for a kid's softball game. It's pretty packed. We clamber up the bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. <laughs> so when do the kids start running and crying off of the field? That's what I'm here for. You know that your relationship with softball is different from everyone else's relationship with softball, right? Okay, but if I don't see some kids cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. <sighs> for nostalgia purposes, of course, not because I take joy out of children fighting for my amusement. Oh. Definitely not that. The game starts and the kids run out onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has River strapped to his chest, as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I guess that's the mascot. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go oh. Flapjacks! Choke up on the bat, Miranda! <laughs> yeah, Miranda, square up! How much do you know about softball? Enough to know that the balls are relatively hard despite huh? their name. But yelling is fun. Give it a shot! It's cathartic! Keep your eye on the ball. What's important is that you're having fun. What are what are you willing to sacrifice to win? Leave it all out on the field, Miranda! If you want this, you're gonna have to bleed for it! Who I assume to be Miranda's father gives me a dirty look. I shoot it back at him. That attitude isn't gonna bring Miranda to D1. Aww. Dad, please don't fight any other dads while we're out here. We watch a couple innings of softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet, but uh, Craig's trained his team pretty well. Seems like he's really good with kids. Aww. 
Kegstan Craig is good with children. Whoa. Huh. It's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one has run off the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Let what go? You're perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out into center field. The tiny little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. See? It's a completely justifiable fear, Dad! The girl plops down on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her off of the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who wants backflip off of a roof and into a pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. The game resumes after the girl calms down a bit and we watch a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The ocelots seem to have given up by this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like just reading and not really registering what it is I'm, I'm reading. Okay, a batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. Well, bam I open my eyes and look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it in huh? amazement. I... Caught the ball. You saved me. I caught the ball! Dad, I caught the ball! You did it, Amanda! I faced my fears! I defeated the softball! I can't do anything! Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment that I don't think anyone else watching really understood. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends and Craig's Craig's team are declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Great job, everyone! We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great oh. work, man! Thanks! We've been working hard all season, and it's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? Hello! Hey, killer playing out there, <clears throat> girls. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you! You guys are twins, huh? Lots of twins in this town. So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Yeah, it's huh. me. Good looking hey. out. Do you guys have to pretend to be each other? I don't have a twin, but I think if I did, I'd be doing that constantly. Yeah, I take all of her math tests, and I usually throw rocks and stuff when people get mad. I tell them I'm Briar. What? Hmm. We will talk about this later. Lyle, bro, I just got a couple more things to clean up that we can hang. Yeah, sounds good, man. Just then one of the moms jumped into the conversation. Oh, not moms. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know if I can eat carbs this week, Janet. Nonsense, the girls won. What sort of celebration could we have without our fearless leader? She lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo-goo eyes. Now this mom is laying it on thick. Back off, mom. I'm on a date with Craig. Amanda and I share a capital L look. Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out because I have such a chiseled jawline, um, and, but covers it up with a smile. Oh, uh, of mm -hmm. course. Where are we going? Thirsty's Pizza? What? Yeah. What? It's a real place. An endless stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into a local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. Oh, okay. It was a joke, but it's also real. Amanda and I trail behind them with Craig. Do you think there's a mini game here? Reminds me of... All the awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day, haha! <laughs> Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings inside? Ah, uh, pizzacos. I can never forget. How did we survive college? Our bodies were younger back then, bro. More elastic. More able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. Ah, oh, the good old days. The kids run around playing arcade games and eating greasy food. Amanda and I jump on a couple slices of mediocre oh. pizza. Hey, give me a piece hey. of that. <laughs> no, absolutely not. 
I'm just kidding. I'm strictly eating salad here. I said earlier about the carbs thing. Hey, thanks for addressing the issue, Amanda. Mm. <laughs> Dad. A different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm happy to look after them. Definitely helps that I have kids of my own, you know. Oh, it's been so hard since Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have a, a strong male role model in their lives. Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepishly. Oh. Mm. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the mom in what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. Man, I should throw him a bone here. Create a diversion, tag team with Amanda, smoke screen Martha. I don't know what any of these things mean. Um, probably just gonna bring Amanda into it, even though I really want to know what it means to smoke screen. What is that? Okay, let's find out. All right, we're gonna back. We're going back to my wingman days. I gotta run the block and play. So Martha, I must get uh, lonely without Daniel. You know, I also happen to be an eligible single father. I waggle my eyebrows at her. Pass. Whew, I remember that working better in the past. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. Oh, that failed so miserably. I'm gonna get such bad grades on that. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight. Her voice has changed completely. So I'm taking Hazel and Briar tonight for the sleepover. Uh, yep, they're pretty excited about it. You'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course, but I could always use help watching after everyone tonight if you're not doing anything. Wow, this red lady is really going for oh. the gold. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, it'll actually just be pretty nice to have a night to myself and River and my buddy uh, Lyle from college. Uh, but thanks for the invite. Oh. Man, his shoulders are, like, impossibly broad. <laughs> Seriously. Whoa. Okay. Sorry. Got distracted for a moment. Uh, Martha, you want? Uh, you might want to grab your child. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Ugh. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany, not another arcade machine. I swear, if I have to buy it. Martha storms off towards her kid. She seems nice. Oh. Yeah, the team is one big weird family, and like I'm. All of their dads. Takes all sorts, right? <laughs> Tiffany, don't eat the token! <laughs> Tiffany's a stellar hitter. Phew. Well, I finally think I have time to talk to Craig now. Look how mad Amanda looks. I should have tag teamed with her. I've. What are. I'm full of regrets now. Alright. And you're a busy guy, huh? Only on days like today, I hope. Dad! <laughs> hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our record on DDR? We told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. Oh. oh, girls, you know I don't have my jukes anymore. I don't know what that means. But dad! Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. Oh. oh. Sorry, dudes. Uh, duty calls. A promise we'll catch up in a bit. <laughs> Promises, promises. It's all good, buddy. A man and I will probably just play pinball or something. Craig runs off with his daughters and I'm left alone with mine. Oh, not again! Man, I was really hoping to hang out with Craig more today, but... Seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. It's probably because he invited me to a softball game where he was coaching. It definitely wasn't like this in college. Amanda, I feel like we might oh. be a third wheel here. Um, there's worse places than an arcade to be left to your own devices. Mm, you're right. You want to drop some coin on pinball? You know it. Amanda and I pull up to a machine that's feeling pretty hot and get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge Amanda to top mine. And immediately she gets multi-ball. Oh, it looks like she takes after her father. Aww. Pretty good. Don't patronize me. Hey, I'm just trying to pay you a compliment. Amanda shushes me. She's in the zen zone. She fights valiantly, racking up points for the millions. She's this close to beating my score, 
but I feel honored just being able to watch. You're friends with Craig, right? Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. You can tell when people are important because they have avatars, and when they're not important, no avatar. Um, yeah, we went to college together. Oh, please don't lean on my thing. Huh, that's so interesting. So do you know if she's, like, uh, available? Oh, uh, I honestly don't know if I could hmm. say. Seriously, you're gonna make it tilt, Janet. Is it just... It just seems like so much work to watch after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he... Lady, I swear to God. All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds and the game is over. Oh, Janet made the pinball machine tilt. Whoa! Stone Harpy. What? Aww. I said, I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that'll hurt your feelings. Amanda. Hey! Bro! What's going on? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here now, we're stuck for the rest of the night. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes with Craig. We head out of the pizza place, finally. Amanda promises that she'll keep the couch warm for me and heads home. Oh. I hope you don't mind me bringing you back here, bro. This is just kind of like the most romantic place I can think of. Oh, not at all, dude. It's uh, good to finally get you all to myself for a second. River burps. Well, almost all to myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of his car, pulls out two gloves and a softball. Oh. Are you up for Are you up for some catch, bro? Uh, this might be less catch and more you throwing the ball and me running after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty baseball diamond and start tossing oh. the ball back and forth. I have a cooler in my car we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. You're telling me, bro. I can't believe I'm looking back on my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those were some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off the rare horizontal oh. keg stand. Oh, it was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long, I don't even know where to begin. What do I ask him about? Softball? The kids? The business? The business? I'll ask him about softball. So, softball coach the life you wanted, or was it the life that was thrust upon you, Craig? Oh. <laughs> oh, I'll admit that I was hesitant at first. Briar and Briar. Briar and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports, but no one was there to run the team. The more I did it, the more I saw how much it meant to all the girls. Man, I'm worried there'd be a riot if I quit now. I would also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bats. They're quick, and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. They take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. Exactly. I'll ask him about his kiddos. I can't believe you're a father of three, Craig. Mm -hmm. Oh man, neither can I. You know me. I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major mm -hmm. four times. Yeah. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. But raising kids? And when Briar and Hazel were born, it finally, it all finally made sense. It was like all the time I had spent trying to figure things out led to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. Man, I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. Could be the only thing that ever happened to me, and I would still be proud of the life I lived. Oh, it's not his business. So you run a hey. business now? <laughs> yeah, we sell fitness gear. Imports and exports mostly, but uh, we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like he'd make mm -hmm. a killing. If you ever need athletic gear, bro, I've got your back. You can sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow oh. my lawn. Yo, that is the glamorous lifestyle we're catering to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, oh, it's nice out here. Quiet for once. Must be good to get away from the softball moms for a oh. bit, huh? Christ, Janet. Yeah, that was a lot. Are they always like nice. that? <laughs> Actually, 
Tonight wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. <laughs> I'm just so not interested. Well, uh, what are you interested in? Oh. oh. Peace and quiet. Maybe dudes. Oh, that hot, hot silence. Hey. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Whew. Hmm. But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. I couldn't even if I wanted to. There's just no time. I don't know. I feel so uncomfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. And they've already been through so much. I can't put them through that. What if he wasn't a stranger, but an old college buddy? Buddy, I mm. hear you. So the moms can hit on me all they want, but, you know, the girls are my top priority. Like, my girls. Like, the girls that I'm raising. Like, not girls in general. I'm not into girls. Uh, I'm into adult people. Grown people. You're doing a great job. The right person will come along eventually. Hit softballs. Don't get hit on my mom. I'm gonna, t I'm gonna, I'm gonna validate you, Craig. You're doing a great job. Those kids love you. It wasn't the right choice. <laughs> Those kids love you. And to add to that, the whole team loves you. I think you got this dad thing mm -hmm. down right. Thanks, bro. Mm -hmm. That means a lot coming from you. While I'm distracted, I miss a softball and it hits me right on the head. Ouch. Wow, oh, that hurts. Amanda was right all along. Sorry, dude. Craig mm. runs over to me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining oh. my head. It's worse than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss it to nice. make it better. <laughs> You'd be so lucky, bruh. Uh, that was planned. I mean, kissing is for the week. That was planned? That was planned. I mean, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to say that one because I want him to kiss me on the forehead. Come on. I mean, I feel like I've earned it at this point. Waiting all day to hang out oh. with you. Well, yes! Craig leans in and kisses hmm. my forehead. Block it off, champ. Are the lights on this softball field really hot? Or is that just me? I get up and dust myself off. River hmm. yawns. Hey, little buddy, you must be getting tired, huh? Hmm. I hate to say it, but oh, I should probably head out. I'm sorry things are so... You get older and life just... Kind of gets in the way, huh? We start walking back to the parking lot. Hey, remember that one house party we went to that got broken up by hey. a helicopter? Oh, how could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. On the other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were mm. parked. Oh, man, yeah. Could you imagine the look on our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk with them for 30 minutes. You told them you were interested hey. in joining the academy. Yo, and then they started giving me pointers for the exam. Oh, longest 30 minutes of my life. Man. College. Mm. Good old days, right? We get back to our cars. Craig pulls me into a hug. Or at least as much of a hug as we can manage with a baby oh. between us. It's never enough time, huh? I guess mm. not, man. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang soon, yeah? I'd like that. <laughs> I yawn as I walk through the door. Ah, oh, spotting a man I hunched over her collage. <sighs> Glue stick in hand. Oh. Burning the midnight art oil. I figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter lip sync battles. Do the sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters huh. lip sync? Yes? I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash. In the other, it's... Amanda, is that... Hmm. Yep, the whole thing is about my goals for the future, and those are basically just to sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs and also have a strong and mutually supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. 
Oh, now you've done it. Get ready to watch your dad cry. Here it comes. It's happening. Uh, oh, dad, you did this with your good art. She pats me mm. on the back. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? I wipe a tear from my eye. It was beautiful. It was good. Man, that Craig guy sure is mm -hmm. busy. Yeah, dude, the softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Oh yeah? How about tomorrow we hit some empty parking lots and practice, dare I say, parallel parking? Mm -hmm. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. You don't parallel park in a parking lot. You parallel park on the street, Lyle. All right, well, I'm going to hit pay. Take care of late night television for me, all right? I'll let them know you said hey. Girl, hey. Date complete. Hey, I actually didn't do so bad. That was hey. a gold medal performance for sure. Yes! Nailed it. Did really good on sports, apparently, which surprises me. And uh, pretty good on marinara. Whatever that means. Welcome. There wasn't a mini You've game. You've got dads. You've got dads. All right. So I've gone on a date with Damien and I've gone on a date with Craig. And now you got to let me know. Do you want to see me go on a date with Matt and Hugo as well? Do you want me to go on a second date with somebody? I'm going to tell you, I'm really feeling the chemistry with Craig right now. I don't know about Damien, but like if you're really committed to me, like continuing that storyline. I'm happy to do it. So let me know in the comments below. Another thing I want to know is what other games would you like to see me play? Um, I'd really like to play some more dating simulators. Um, if there's something that you're like, you'd really like to see me play, let me know that too. Um, especially if it's something on Steam, because uh, that's where I'm playing Dream Daddies. So I have access to all the games on there. Um, thank you again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.